Hey guys, I'm Wags with Ironman 4x4. I'm gonna show you how to set up and take down the new Ironman 4x4 Swift 1400 rooftop tent. All right, first things first, hop up where you can access the latches of your tent. I like to reach over here, use some of my tactical girth. <clears throat> pop that one. <sighs> pop that one. And this is the tough part, guys. This is really hard. You just gently push and then the tent opens up. The trick here is let the tent do the work. Once it opens up, take this bungee. You wanna pull it down below this little gutter track there. I store my ladder, my telescopic ladder right here. I'm gonna get it out. All right, got my ladder here. I'm gonna pop the strap there hooks on. Now we put the mounts on the left side of the vehicle because that's with our accessories. We've got an awning on the other side that would kind of be in the way. And this tucks nicely over our Ironman 4x4 ensuite. So you can access your tent three ways, left, right, or rear. We're going to hook over like that, telescope it out, slide it down. A couple things to think about here. There is a four to one Horatio. So however tall, this ladder is when you get set up at the top of your vehicle. Divide it by four, here's half, here's a quarter. It's about yay. That's how far out the feet should be. That'll get you between 70 and 75 degree angle. I don't carry a bro tractor with me. That's why I do it this way. So what I will do is hit my little thumb latches in and find right where I want the ladder to be. If you're in sand or mud, give it a wiggle around, stomp it into the ground. Go ahead, throw yourself a little fit. Get it out of your system. Now you can safely use your ladder. Unzip the fly screen, unzip the door. If you're gonna leave your door up, you can roll all this fabric up. Method of your choice, I go full burrito every time. You've got these little toggles. These are your little stays. This is like the foil wrapper on your burrito. That's why I never just take the burrito out of the wrapper, peel the foil, then the burrito will stay together. That should be day one stuff. I'm gonna leave my screen just down like that because when I go to bed, I want my screen up. And I want airflow, that's another thing. Ooh, thank you for reminding me. These tents, the number one enemy of these tents is ISIS. The number two enemy of these tents is condensation. So make sure you have the maximum amount of airflow. This tent will last a really long time. All right, let's get in it. All right, once you're in the tent, you wanna unhook this bungee cord. It's what holds the walls together when you go to tear it back down. We'll unhook this. It's, you can tell it's orange by the way that it is. All right, that's done. Let's open up all of our vent flaps. Let's Get this installed. Grab your window rod bag. There's gonna be two metal window rod supports. Take them out of the bag. There's a right way of doing this and a wrong way where well, you'll bend these, so I like doing it the right way. You take this, you put it in the mount at the base first. Once it's in, if you wanna do this one-handed, just keep a little up pressure on it. Slide your hand up, grab the hook, find your grommet. There you go. Hey, don't forget if you've got heavy gear on your roof like kayaks or bikes, or if it's snowing out, there's a load support pole right back here in the rear left side of the tent. Feel your mattress back. See that? It's got a socket down there at the base. It's a twist lock. Twist it to the right. It'll telescope out through this loop and it won't fall down on you if you get like six feet of snow overnight. That was your setup, now it's time for teardown. Uh, you can either pause the video here and play it in reverse, or you can continue watching and it will look normal to you. So we'll start with getting our window rods popped out and put away in the window rod bag. Tuck these on the side. All right, we've got our doors closed, make sure you double check, get all the gear out that you need out Leave all the gear in that you want to leave in. I'm going to leave my sleeping bag in here. Again, the tent's nice and dry, so when I fold it up, I'm not going to be worried about uh, mildew and mold. Now, take your orange bungee cord that attaches the two walls together. 
we'll hook those in. Now when we fold it up, it'll suck everything down and flat. All right, we'll zip up our door, followed by the screen. We will take our ladder down. And the fastest way to do that is thumbs on the red toggles, push in. Just like that. Check your uh, mounting surface where the gasket's gonna hit so it's all clear of uh, dirt, junk, and debris. We'll pull this in like that. Now we're gonna grab that big bungee. It's got this little orange cord here. You wanna get it as high up as you can. And cool, look at that. And those little 550 cords are good to go. And we're gonna pull down. And since everything's closed up, go slow because this is full of air. And there we go. We'll take our handle, tuck the handle in here. And then as you pull it down, just keep working all the fabric in and we'll get it latched down. All right, it's all locked down, nice and secure. That is the Ironman 4x4 Swift 1400 setup and also takedown. I wish we had more time. But I gotta go, man. I'm in Moab. Ironman4x4America.com. Check it out. Go buy one. Bye.